Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise Newspaper and the Forest Center TV Video Production Program. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm Lucas Ossenbaugh. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. St. Mary's County marched on Fenwick Street in Leonardtown this Monday in the Veterans Day Parade to honor American veterans and victims of all wars. This year marks Leonardtown's 44th annual memorial ceremony in the square that takes place after the parade. The picture on screen shows Kate Dodge, a fifth grader at Leonardtown Elementary, reading an essay explaining what Veterans Day means to her. While this next picture shows children waving their American flags as they watch participants walk down the street. The policy on equity within the school system is still a matter of improvement for officials, with board meetings and town halls being held to address the issue. Many school board members do not agree on certain words that are being used and even using the current policy, taken straight from the Code of Maryland regulations. The policy will be presented again on November 20th and the school system's plans to take action on it on December 11th. University of Maryland's Unmanned Aircraft Systems Department wants people to be safer when using drones, whether it's taking pictures or for fun. Matt Cicero, the director of the UAS test site on Airport Road, said it is an aircraft, not a toy, so that's how we treat it. A flying demonstration was held outside the hangar that evening, where Cicero told its audience to always make sure a drone is in sight once it is in the air. The DJI M210 drone used in the demonstration reached 200 feet and it looked like a speck in the sky less than a quarter mile away. It's got to be safety from start to finish, said Ryan Henderson, a UAS chief pilot who was operating the drone that evening. Saturday's Class 4A state semifinal contest was a dream four years in the making for Leonardtown senior Garrett Bridgewater, who scored the game-winning goal and a 1-0 victory for Leonardtown over Arundel at Gaithersburg High School, sending the Raiders to the 4A state championship game. Bridgewater said, During the season, I scored a couple of goals, but to do it in this state semifinals and having it be the game-winning goal in this kind of game is amazing. Leonardtown, with the 19-0 overall, will face Walt Whitman High School of Montgomery County at Loyola University in Baltimore for the 4A state title, scheduled for 7.30 p.m. on Saturday. Runners from various Southern Maryland Athletic Conference squads who qualified for the state cross-country championships at Hereford High School on Saturday were commendable of the cool, breezy conditions that envelope the region. Northern High School junior Oakley Olson won her second straight 3A girls state title, covering the three-mile course in 18 minutes, 49.23 seconds, and the Patriots garnered their fourth consecutive team title with 82 points, four fewer than runner-up Bel Air of Harvard County. Olson, who is still considering several colleges, said, We all came up here thinking that it was going to be tough to beat Bel Air, so we really didn't expect to come here and win the team title but we kept pushing each other all week in practice to get better. This news brief has been provided by The Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's what we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm Luke Sausenbaugh, signing, signing off. off.